42 mouth encumbrance because of the uh, gas mask helping us out too. Shouldn't need that. With the, uh, I can't remember. Do you need gas mask with phase immersion? Is this one of those that says it provides immunity but it doesn't actually? gas. Hmm. Ah, right, we're rolling over weight again. Um, Now we get the, uh... God damn it! <laughs> I bashed him with the laser rifle. Uh... Come here, you. I want to introduce you to Goo Pits. <laughs> Let's see. Keep moving. Uh... Mono blade, sling, uh, the sling. Fifteen and he's oh yeah, he's a bandit. All right. Daywalker suit it is. <clears throat> uh, gas mask is 16 mouth protection. Unless something very radical has changed. Been 16 forever. Gas mask. Uh, 16 environmental protection. We're not looking at this kind of protection. This is what you care about with a gas mask. It's all about the environmental. As soon as we lose strength, we go overweight again. Uh, let's let some time pass. We should start slapping some bandage on all the parts. I 
Hey there, Volrath. Thanks very much for dropping some gift subs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, my favorite guy again. <laughs> and then he moves. You can just hang out in the corner there, that's fine. Just passing through anyway. Okay, we made it back to the previous spot where we'd gone up down. Let's go see what this other endpoint is. Captured wrestler. We have Shoggoth. We have Shoggoth. Spiders. Spiders and slimes. mess of an area. <laughs> Spiders and slimes and skitterbots. Uh, right in my path. Hmm. Ouch! A herd of skitterbots. At least they're targeted on the, uh, the other enemies. Let's go see if there's any more heavy batteries inflatable boat <laughs> very important for escaping science labs those inflatable boats critical item we have goo pits ah again no Stupid portal. Whoa! Whoa! Rude! Rude. There's no way other no other way in, huh? I didn't get a look at what kind it was. I'm worried if I open the door, it's gonna step right into the door. It shouldn't be able to if I'm if I reset my points first. That's a that's a should though, that'll get me killed. <laughs> when I'm proved wrong. I can't get him to move. This one may be a mystery that shall never be revealed. Yeah, just too close. Too close. All I gotta do is step into the doorway and we're done. Take the boat for the carrier? Uh, maybe. I'm pretty sure we can find a, a boat to, uh, to get out to the carrier some other place as well. We've got, uh, what do we got on these things? Riverside Dwellings, I think, have canoes or something like that. Of course, you have to get out to the Riverside Dwelling to get the canoe. 
So that one there wouldn't be too tough to get it to, depending on what's in these swamps right here. Or this one up here that we're going to have to go by anyway. I think they do. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not too worried about the uh, getting out to the carrier. We can definitely get solutions for that. Ah, this one's too dangerous. Too dangerous. If I could get, if I could approach from any other direction, I, I, I would do so. But with only one door and there being robots right on top of it, no good way for me to relocate them. Uh, it's just too dangerous. But we'll never know. And I'm not really in the mood to go chasing down these other finales down these other pipelines so I think we're just going to go ahead and get out of here with what we got I'll go take a look at that uh, that one up here that had the CBM finale with the robots in the southeast corner maybe that we can clear and scoop up some CBMs that I might use later so I'm going to get past back past the area that uh, was annoying me Oops. We're electrical immune now, right? Nope, we are not electrical immune. <laughs> We're getting the shit shocked out of me. Gotta be activated in order to be electrical immune. Well, this is not good. Last time we came up, it seemed like they were all clustered up in the corner here. Now, they've drifted. So, who's in the room? Ah, experimental bot. Okay. And he is also gonna be immune to this, probably. Yep. Not good. Uh, I don't want to run the shock gauntlet again. We're going to get shot. 
Yay. Not sure I brought enough grenades for this. I only have two grenades. That's not great. Acid bombs might help get the job done, but grenades would definitely be the preferred uh, solution here. All right, uh, let's see if we can get them to relocate. So, have a, do I have a whistle or anything? I forget. I don't have any loud guns with me either. Have any whistles with me? Uh, I got one loud gun, but we'll just go with the uh, plastic spoon method. Group up in the corner, there's stupid uh, robots. <laughs> Not what I was hoping for. Yeah, there's the unified power system CBM. And the adrenaline pump's pretty cool, and that one's okay. But the uh, the robots are not cooperating. Hmm. Especially this uh, skitterbot's not cooperating. Can't have that. See if we can work our way around to the other side. Predator. Poor Predator. Are we finally going to get a CBM vault? No! <laughs> it's mutagen vault number 48. Whoa! Holy crap, am I super slow right now? <laughs> that guy just seemed to vault past there. What are we at? 240. Six shots left. How many heavy batteries are in here? Come on, heavy batteries. Where are you? No heavy batteries. See, that's what I want. I just don't want him right where he's at. <laughs> I need him to move over a little bit. I mean, he's not in a great spot either, but I don't know if I can throw that far. Hmm. Two grenades. Yeah, that guy's just in a bad spot. If I, even if I was over on the other side, I'd have to peek to here. He'd be able to see me, so I couldn't stand here and then peek down to throw into the corner. Ah, how far can I throw? Oh, wield. Uh, don't I care about? <laughs> wield. Uh, an IFAC, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, wield a super glue. Throw super glue. Uh, nine range, huh? Yeah, that's not going to be nearly far enough. 
Not even close. Hmm. Try to rearrange the geometry again. it's moving the guys that I want. Oh, I think we have an opportunity. Activate. Grenade. Peak. Perfect. It worked finally. Um... Did we get them all? Is it a one grenade victory? It's a one grenade victory! Alright. Yay us. I'm gonna I'm gonna crit fail this and be met with lethal force right out in the open here. I don't have anything to blast through here. a lot of uh, a lot of lamps I'd have to go around and shatter <laughs> if I wanted to try this in the dark the grenade took care of some of them hole in the floor over there. Ooh, I think there's a light right here. No, it's that one. All right, I think I think we'll be okay. There's one inside. No. <laughs> yeah, there's one right there. Let's try to shoot it with the uh, the shooty gun. Die, stupid light. There we go. Much better. All right, now I just have to get out of range. Wait, why do I have... Oh, that's because the computer is blocking my, uh, my night vision.
This gun will do me no good against uh, anything that does show up. Okay. We got it. The while we're here, do we go check this one? Not quite overweight. An amazing lack of scientists in this lab. Medium battery. Prisoner containment. Where are the scientists? <laughs> There's supposed to be a couple of scientists in here. There's one of them. Out of power. Reload. 582. <laughs> Monoblade. Yeah, there's usually a fair chance of uh, a couple of science or scientists here. Unfortunately, none for us. All right, I think I think we're done here. Get back to our our bike. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm tempted to uh, head back to base. A long trip. But we got quite a few things that we might be able to benefit from. I don't know. Did I mark any uh, auto docks on this floor? I don't think I marked any, but did I find any auto docks? Even if it's the bad robot version. I just want to check my fail percentages. Didn't finish connecting around back to that side. I don't think I had any auto docks on this floor. Hmm. this fixed first.
Yeah, I can always kill the evil nurse bot. I'm not worried about her. I'm just looking at, um, while I'm here, taking a look at what my fail percentages are. It can't be very good for our chances with uh, three health care, which is the primary stat. I believe it's, what, health care, then computers, then electronics, in order of um, waiting or priority. But if we go back to base, that's uh, this long trip back. The only real hard part of that trip was just this north section right here. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I mean, I don't want to carry my CBMs in with me. I guess it really doesn't matter. There's a fairly good chance the um, auto dock here is going to be buried in rubble too. Hospitals, these old style hospitals used to get tore up quite a bit from advanced evolution creatures. Back when we didn't have just regular see regular zombies at the start, <clears throat> where we had all sorts of nasties. You'd spawn here and you'd have hulks just ripping the whole building down. So I'm not sure. <laughs> either office tower that is not a collapsed tower next to the hospital. Hmm. At least here, if I go back down and find one of the um, auto dock rooms, I can at my own leisure, check everything. <laughs> and if I do have, think I have a pretty good chance, I could actually do an installation. But here, absolutely no. Very little likelihood I'll have any free time. It'll be a dash in, dash out kind of a thing. I'll probably end up just trying to set fire to a couple of nearby buildings to try to draw as much attention out some direction so I can sneak in, check the room and leave. Do I... Are you guys renaming things I don't have with me again? Because I, I really don't like renaming things that I don't actually have in my inventory. Because <laughs> you force me to try to remember this stuff. <clears throat> I don't have welding goggles with me. I think I have some in the vehicle. Uh, nope, I don't have any welding goggles. Why don't I have welding goggles? Wait, wrong, wrong spot. This side. Welding goggles. Come here, welding goggles. Activate. Farm marker, item, goggles, it's a label. Ah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter about the welding goggles anymore because the uh, mech base suit has uh, glare protection. It's one of the attributes. Keeps the glare out of your eyes. I don't know if that's just sun glare or if I can actually weld with that. <laughs> I'm not sure what the level of protection is. And I think it protects against that. <clears throat> uh, choices, choices. Wish I had marked the, uh, the bad nurse spot stuff or levels. Yeah, the harness is pretty limited in its usability as well.
What kept me? Did anything keep me going down up here? I don't think there was anything up here. Oh, no, that's where we came up. All right, so CBM finale, nanofab finale that was useless for me, metabolic interchange, my up location, and uh, scanning, scanning, scanning. None on this floor that I can see. again another containment I know I saw at least two are they all buried down below Skitterbots. Uh... Yeah, yeah. in the corner again are you skitterbot <laughs> really <laughs> uh, I bet he dropped down from the finale above <laughs> remember we had that one hole in the top left corner of the finale. <laughs> well, okay, then. Hmm. Good times. <clears throat> Let's see. Doors busted. Angle is such that he might get a shot on me before I can get through that south door. If I try to go straight for it, kind of depends on the angle. Uh, if I go for the north or east door and then try to circle around, I'd have to get this door closed without getting shot or I just sprint north go through the double doors and look for another way up down and just remember this guy's here or we toss a grenade in and scramble him <laughs> you know any of those things the damage doesn't really matter the, the level of death potential he's not damaged which you'd think he'd be damaged if he fell down I mean, it's possible there's a broken wall somewhere and he got in through the broken wall. But he shouldn't be here. And I don't have any any finales nearby that he should be from. My guess was that he dropped down from... Eh, it's not exactly near in terms of uh, direct vertical. <laughs> I don't know. That was my guess. 
could be more. If there's one, there could be more. So. What to do, what to do. They do still have their aiming time. With sprint mode, I should be able to get through that southern door and just bop on out of here. I don't know if I've ever tried the, the bots. I, you don't really want to mess with these guys. It's not like you can maneuver these guys onto a teleport trap. Because you're going to get shot to death before that uh, that happens. So, no, I've never tried to maneuver a bot onto a teleport trap. I have no idea if they would teleport or not. I'm just mostly debating going through the double doors of the north into the unknown. I could have a really bad situation up there too, because I've had situations where they've gotten displaced through walls. So the room to the north, if it might have even more of those guys, could uh, could be problematic. Teleport trap, and uh, maybe that doesn't go across Z levels though. There's still nowhere nearby where he should have teleported to here from. Teleport's only like eight or ten squares range on the same Z level. So <clears throat> there's still no likely place he would have teleported from nearby. Um, run mode to there is our first step. Whether he pursues me or not, I'm unsure. We go to here. And the next question is, so he, his current position can't see me to here. He, I don't think he'll be able to see me in the doorway either. But let's run to there. Wait. So he stop, he, He's not pursuing. He's hanging out up there, I think. So, I forgot to re-up my grenade supply <laughs> while I was up top. I could toss an acid bomb in, but I'm, I'm worried that I'm mishear, misreading the sound signal that he's actually closing. And if I move back, I could meet him in the doorway, and then I've got no... Then we're done. <laughs> so, I, I can't fiddle with this guy. So, we'll, uh, we'll bop on out of here. This is too dangerous. Too dangerous by far. Yeah, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that, like I said, he fell right there, somehow landed below, and if things don't line up quite, either fell directly to that spot below, or teleported, or I don't know. There's a few possibilities. Hmm. I don't want to go back up by the electrical trap. Let's uh, scoot back. Whoops. Well, that was quick. Guess we're about to find out whether or not we've got gas protection. All right, let's go find a different downstair. Broken again. He didn't, uh, he didn't get himself gooed. All right, so. Mm 
more cleanup detail. Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm getting flanked by two incandescent husks. <laughs> Here I stepped in to take care of one necromancer. Talk about choices, choices. <laughs> You're being bum-rushed by two necro incandescent husks. Do you still go for the necromancer first? Because <laughs> you can't kill the husks, they'll just get stood right back up before you can get the necromancer down. How quick can I kill the Necro? The Incandescents are pretty slow. And they're also... I don't know, are those guys immune to laser fire? I don't have electrical immunity. Well, I mean, I don't want to get punched by these guys either, but they're going to drain my, my CBM power with their EMP pulses and uh, super punch me. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. That's a, that's a pretty hilarious little setup there. One of the husks is almost down. The necromancer wouldn't take much more. Huh. Interesting. That is funny. So, how long get decent aim and shot on him? Probably 229. So he'd get to about there and then it's just fire, fire, fire. I think I could easily drop the Necro and if these guys aren't immune to laser fire, I could probably drop the more wounded of the incandescents. But at least if I get the Necro gone, I won't have to worry about him popping the door open for these guys. Let's try it. Careful. One more. Ah, I was really hoping he would go down on that one. Then that one there. And we're at 79 with 25 whole points. See, I mean, look at this. It's maintaining this even when I change targets. That is so, so... That's just wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. I mean, aiming and shooting at a guy here and then being able to pivot and shoot this guy and be still at the same aiming level. That's, something's wrong there. I'm fine with it when you're aiming at the same target, but when you're then swiveling, <laughs> I don't I don't think that's right. Did he take damage? He is taking damage. Alright, can we drop this other guy too? And again, it's it's still sitting at the same hundred percent. If I actually give it a little bit extra time, we can get headshot, headshot, headshot. Whoa, let it get a little too close. I'm going to have to back off and then reset the fire. Uh, let's back off north instead in case there's more incandescence <laughs> or other things waiting for me. So we'll bring it up into this room and then be able to easily finish it. All right, uh, now we're only at 84% headshots. That's fine. Oops, <laughs> sparks aren't done. All right. Too bad these guys don't have anything fun anymore. Hmm, 400 copper wire. Sure, I'll take 400 copper wire. Yeah, I actually didn't notice that. You're right, it doesn't do the... Aiming view reduction, which I haven't minded. I haven't really been affected by that any, but <clears throat> yeah, pretty powerful stuff if you can keep it fed. Uh oh, necro come from there. There's some blue and some bandages. Over in the corner. Mm 
<laughs> the other one's on fire. Sure. Now that I want heavy batteries. <laughs> I take it all back. I take it all back. Yet again, ask and you shall receive. That's, uh, I gotta do another quick tip video and uh, just explain to all the new players that it's a simple game. You just you just ask for things and they give it to you. Ouch. That means another husk, right? No particular reason for me to go over there. Hmm. Nah, the whole aiming thing doesn't make any sense. I mean... And I don't want to get picky about, like, angles and so on, but, I mean, swiveling <laughs> 90 degrees to a new target should cause me to, to reacquire some kind of an aiming function. Otherwise, why do I have aiming to, at all to begin with? I mean, why does it take me 300 moves to get the aim to this point? But then, from then on... In a 360 degree angle, I can just continuously pivot, fire, pivot, fire, pivot, fire, and get precise headshots on everything around me. That doesn't make any sense. Perfectly fine with there being zero recoil and no need to re-aim for the single target you're aiming at. But as soon as you switch targets, I they, they, it should force you to do some kind of aiming again. We got a lot of stuff on you. Too bad none of it I care about. All right. Uh, why am I here? <laughs> I'm, I'm trolling for um, not that. I'm trolling for uh, auto dock couch. More fungus. The room north of me is full of skitterbots. Uh, so this is a terrible area. Three by threes. So yeah, why spend why why force me to do two twenty nine to aim at this guy, but then not have me do any kind of aiming at some guy in a totally different direction? A three grid. Don't want a three by three. Um, mm. that fungal area has got a ladder somewhere. <laughs> no thanks.
Well, that looks familiar. And there cleared that. And I know I saw a couple of auto docks. <laughs> Where the hell did the auto docks go? There it is, just north of me. Oh, that's right. She's immune. Uh, guess I could do the uh, pistol. Operating operator missing. <laughs> Operating it without him. Operator can lead to serious injuries or death. I'm going to take legal action. All right. So what are we looking at? That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Only a 13% fail chance on the UPS. Ooh. I need to think about this. I can live without all the other ones. Maybe I'm not compatible with patient's body. What the hell's that mean? What have I got going on that would... Are my anti-glare compensators? <laughs> Nixing? I forgot I have these. I don't need welding goggles anyway. Uh, huh. Don't fit with the immersion suit, huh? Mm -hmm. eh, that's fine. We're keeping the immersion suit. Yeah. Hmm. Death by failed UPS installation. If I got that installed, hmm. 